All right, we're back for part two. So we're going to take up with problem 5-2A. We're doing these purchase transactions, I'm sorry, we're doing sales transactions for a merchandising company. And we're going to start up with the transaction on March 14th. So the transaction on March 14th is sold merchandise to customers who used American Express 13.7 for the sale. Cost merchandise sold 83.50. So you may recall that a sale on a credit card is the same as a cash sale. So this should be a pretty easy transaction. So the date, the date is 3.14. We've got cash and we had sale. We're going to have a cost of merchandise sold, and we're going to reduce our merch inventory. All right. So the cash we got in, thirteen seven. And the cost of merchandise sold, eighty three fifty. All done. No big deal at all. Next. Sold merchandise on account to Targi, 27.5, terms of FOB shipping point, 110 at 30, cost of merchandise sold, 16. All right, so at this point, we don't know if they're going to take that 1%, so we're going to record the sale and the entire amount, and of course, their cost of merchandise sold. So that's going to be an account receivable from Targi. So the account receivable and cost of goods sold is $27.5. Right. And of course our cost of merchandise sold, they tell us, $16,000. And of course we have to reduce our merchandise inventory by that same amount. got those down. Next, issued a credit memo for $4,800 to Targi Company for merchandise returned from sale on March 16th. Cost of merchandise return was $2,900. So what's going on here is Targi didn't want some of the stuff we sold them, so they've sent it back. And we are issuing a credit memo. So you may recall from the purchases that Maybe the purchaser issues a debit memo. Well, when you sell something and people return it, you issue a credit memo. So this means we are going to have our merchandise returned and we need to recognize that. We need to put that merchandise back into the inventory. And of course, Target, Target, Targi doesn't owe us that money anymore, so we need to take that off of their um, account receivable. All right. So the first thing let's recognize is this forty-eight hundred dollars that they they returned to us. All right. So we have this account, and this is three eighteen. We're going to call sales returns and allowances. Right, sales returns and allowances. You may recall on the income statement that to get our net sales, we subtract this out. And we do this because we want to track it separately. Are we getting a lot of sales returns? We'd, we'd want to know that. That would be important as a manager. If people are returning our stuff, why? Is it no good? Do, do we have a bad ordering system? What's going on? So we track it separately so we have that information. They returned that. It was 4800 so we're going to reduce their account receivable. They no longer owe us that. So, right? Instead of getting a payment, it's just like they returned stuff. So it's the same. It's like doing a payment, Targi, right? And it was forty-eight hundred and forty-eight hundred. So when they returned that, we reduced their account receivable. 
Well, we also got the stuff back, right? So we're gonna put it back in our inventory and we need to recognize that, that it's back in our inventory. So in order to do that, we have to put it back in the merchandise inventory. And it's no longer part of our cost of goods sold because we didn't really sell it. So we need to go and take that out of cost of goods sold. And that number is 2900 so that was what it was worth when we sold it. And so there we go. Okay, cool. Next, sold merchandise on account to Vista Company. 82.50 terms FOB shipping point added 75 to the invoice for prepaid freight so we're shipping this stuff to Vista but they're gonna pay the shipping um, but we don't have the money from them for the shipping so we're gonna add it on to the invoice right cost of merchandise sold 5,000 all right so let's do that on the 19th. Of course it's a sale, so that's easy enough. Um, 82.50, right? 82.50, nothing unusual there. Account receivable, Vista, and sales. Right? And the amount is eighty-two fifty. And we want to account for this seventy-five dollars. So we prepaid the freight, and we so we gave UPS or whoever's shipping it for us, postman, FedEx. We gave them seventy-five bucks here, deliver this to Vista. But we want to get that back from Vista, so we're going to bill them for it, right? So. That is also an account receivable from Vista. And we paid cash out. It was prepaid, so that means the cash left us. We prepaid it. And it's 75. All right? Okay, so Vista owes us 82.50 for merchandise and they owe us 75 for shipping. Uh, we shipped the merchandise. We have to remember always still do our cost of merchandise sold and merchandise inventory and they tell us 5,000 okay I'm gonna stop here and upload that and when you come back to part three we'll continue with the rest of the transactions